we're at Demolition Ranch. I got a very special guest here. You know him as the king of the demolition. Let's get this thing fired up and see how it works. Up, All right. Oh, look at that. That's solid. I like it. Sweet. Thank you. I think this thing would be good for a wet t-shirt contest too. <laughs> now we're talking. No. Yeah, with you and me or what? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome to Texas Bitter Adventures. I'm Brad Harrow, your host, and today, well, we're over here at Demolition Ranch, and Matt contacted me a while back and said, hey, man, I got a project that I think you would be great at, and I was like, well, what's that, Matt? Plumbing a fire truck. I said, well, I've never done that before, but I'm sure it's something that I can handle. So if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. I'd appreciate it. Most people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so do me a solid. I'm a master plumber by trade. I make YouTube videos of essentially whatever I'm doing at the time. Could be anything from ranching, could be plumbing, it could be welding, it could be fishing, it could be hunting. It's kind of all over the place. I do a lot with my family, my wife, and my two sons. So um, I consider myself like the Kanye West of YouTube. I'm all over. It is like a ton and a half or a two ton truck that he is converting or we are converting into a, a brush truck. And so he's got a, a big water tank in the back and he has purchased and mounted a Honda trash pump. You see it there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to install these bulkhead fittings and then I'm gonna come from the tank to the pump from the pump over here to the reel here's the reel and uh that red hose goes on the reel so this is just for us to fight wildfires out here and we do some dangerous stuff every once in a while so i figure i might need something to put out fires that's solid i like it sweet Heck yeah this is the intake side of the pump it's got this little plug you can take that off and fill the drum with water down there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the four bolts loose here and I need to spin this. You know, we are using Schedule 80 pipe and fittings on everything. And that was because we wanted it to be able to withstand bouncing around on the back of the truck when he's driving around on the ranch. Not a lot of room underneath here, so it's hard to get the camera in position. But I've got my inlet piped up, a couple of 90s, a T. This is going to be to, uh, well, I'll explain what that is in just a minute. This one's gonna come over and 90 up into the floor and that's gonna go uh, actually through the floor or of the flatbed, come over and it's gonna tie into the bulkhead that's on the tank, which, which I have not drilled yet. This side, it's got a valve on it, which is right, let's see it right there. There's the handle for the valve. So that's typically gonna be in the off position. And this is gonna be for this hose, which is gonna be a suction hose. And Matt wanted to be able to, uh, if, if he doesn't have any water in the tank, he wanted to be able to pull up to a, a trough or something and suck water from the trough with this green hose. So that's what that's for. And I was able to finagle it into that hatch which these aren't being used for anything anymore so i thought that was a pretty nifty idea that way it's kind of out of the way doesn't have to worry about knocking it with a branch or something i'm gonna mark where this bulkhead fitting is gonna go i need it I need it up off the bottom to where I can still get a wrench on this and tighten it up. But I don't want it too far off the bottom where I'm not sucking all the water out. So it's kind of like a happy medium, you know? The other thing is, is that I've got to make sure that I can reach my hand with a pair of channel locks to be able to grab the, the nut on this bulkhead. All right, so I've got everything here glued up. I don't have it bolted down yet. 
but the valve is in place where it goes all the 90s are all glued up i've got a galvanized 90 two inch galvanized 90 and i've screwed a schedule 80 nipple into it and what we're going to do is we're going to run over to this way i'm going to put a t right here right past this bracing for the pump and then i'm going to i'm going to cut while well, that t is going to go up to the tank and it's going to be a recirculating line we do not have a nozzle on this thing right now because i ordered one with the wrong threads brad laughed at me so it doesn't go very far but it will that's a one inch hose there but yeah it's perfect yeah that's great with the recirculating i didn't want to burn up that pump and so i wanted to be able to recirculate so that i could leave the motor running if i turn this valve off once we have a valve here yep got the t got the hose bib and uh it's gonna act as a drain put a hose bib right here that's to drain the system if you need to if it's freezing or whatever yeah, that's perfect. got my 90 glued on here i am through the floor this t is just mocked up and i'm gonna start running this way and then drill that other bulkhead fitting all the piping over here is going to be exactly the same as that one so i'm going to go ahead and start cutting my pieces there so that way i can run that way and with my movie magic boom just like that doesn't that look good twinkies just like danny devito and arnold schwarzenegger i've got my last glue joint to make here there we go Look at that. Pretty. Alright, I'm going to strap it all down. I got all the strapping done on the piping. And I've got my joints tightened up. So when I was testing the system after I got it all hooked up, I realized that I inadvertently hooked up the pump backwards. So the top side of the pump is actually the outlet and the bottom side of the pump is actually the inlet so i'm gonna go ahead and fix that just like that it's done we added some unions i say we i added some unions right here got this one coming up tying into the top of the pump and then this line here going in tying into right here which would be either the bottom or the middle of the pump thanks matt yeah appreciate it Thank it was you. a lot of fun a lot of work too yeah but. have you ever been out looking for arrowheads and you're you're searching 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 well <clears throat> here at demolition ranch you don't search for arrowheads you search for bullets i'm just looking down getting a tool from my truck there's a full metal jacket bullet just laying there like an arrowhead